All right, everybody. Well, happy Wednesday. Morning, Dan, John and Leslie, Karen, Tina, Eva. Good to see you guys. Um, all right, well, let's do this. Let's get into the chat or let's go into your app. And let's talk about what's happening today. So we're going to start off with one minute of cardio. So grab yourself a dumbbell or no dumbbell, okay? Because we're also, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to do goblet lunges. So it's going to be where we're going to hold the kettlebell at our throat. And so we can do eight goblet lunges or eight goblet squats. And then whatever's remaining in that minute, we're just going to hold a plank. Okay. So both options are going to be a good idea for a plank. So I'm, I'm preferring that you guys go to your elbows on your toes, but you can also be in that push up position. Okay. And as always, when we do our lunge, make sure that that shin is straight up and down, back knees touching the deck, and that chest is going to be up when we do those lunges, okay? So, all right, well, let's do this. Let's get the cardio set. Let me get my clock all set. Make sure it's all set here. Beautiful. All right, well, give me that thumbs up, you guys, if you're ready to rock and roll where we're at. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so we are here for five minutes total, but one minute for our cardio. And we get to pick whatever we want. So I know there's uh, ellipticals out there. There's rowers out there. I know some people go out in their neighborhood and go for a quick jog. Whatever's going to get that heart rate up and get that body prepped and primed for today. All right, we're at 30 seconds. Good work, you guys. Good work. <clears throat> and as we start to warm up, you guys, just go ahead and start to think about what is your intention for today? How are we approaching the workout? Are we pushing today? Are we moving today? What are we doing? All right, here we go in three, two, one, and here we go. Go right into eight goblet lunges or eight goblet squats. Morning, Adair. And then once we're done with those eight, you're gonna drop right down into that plank we're gonna hold the plank for the remaining of that minute. And then we'll do it all over again. We're gonna do four total sets here. All right. So we have a big day today, you guys. As you may remember, Wednesday is our body weight theme. Okay, so even though we have a dumbbell in the warm up the rest of today is going to be all body weight all right five more seconds you guys in three two one and rotate here we go let's get right back into it we're going to do eight of those lunges again going side to side alternating those legs unless we're going to do those goblet squats so let's take that deep breath make sure we drop down hips below your knees and then just push those knees out as you come up. Good work, good work. Well, total, we got eight people in the house today. John and I are the oddballs because we're not wearing black, but everybody else is wearing black. Actually, Adair's wearing gray too. So we'll call us the cool guys. But everybody else is wearing black. It's like you guys all got each other's texts or something. All right, here we go. Five seconds. In three, two, one. And here we go and rotate. Let's go right back into those lunges. So then we can hurry up and get right back into those planks. We have two more sets. We have this set. And then we have one more following. <clears throat> I 
once you guys get yourself into that plank position, go ahead and just hold that position, breathe through it, focus on that breath overall. Good work. Deep breath. Focus on the breath coming in and coming out. All right, guys, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and let's rotate. Let's do it one more time, you guys. Eight of those lunges or goblet squats. And then we'll hold that plank for the remaining of this minute. And then we will get right into our body weight pump. Okay. So on Monday, our icebreaker was where is a place that you would like to go that you have not gone? So you can still participate in that question if you'd like to, if you'd like to answer that one. And, but the other question is going to be, what is something that you have not accomplished that you would like to accomplish? Okay. I'm going to go off my memory really quick. <clears throat> Eva wants to go to Australia. Karen was down with Australia. Dan wants to go to Patagonia. In three, two, one, and stop. Was I accurate? Eva, were you Australia? Yes. And then Karen jumped on board. She wanted to Aussie it up. Yep. And Dan wanted Patagonia. All right. Well, here we go, you guys. We are going to move right into our body weight pump. We're going, to, we're going to be here for nine minutes. So we're going to be doing 10 diamond push-ups or narrow push-ups, and we'll go over that. And then we're going to tag team it with 20 cross-body mountain climbers. And then we're going to do 10 squat rotations. Okay, so minute one is going to be the push-ups. Minute two is going to be the cross-body mountain climbers. And then minute three is gonna be the squat rotation. All right, so let's just kind of go over what are our hands looking like on the floor? So this is what they're gonna look like on the floor. And essentially we're gonna go right to your chest. That's gonna be kind of like what it's gonna look like on the floor. Now you can be in a push on your toes or you can be on your knees, okay? So let's go over that real quick. Make sure that we're all on the same page. Now it's a little bit different. Okay, right, then a no normal push up. It's like super, super narrow. But we can be on your toes or your knees. We'll go all the way down. Chest is gonna touch. Now, you can also go a little bit narrower, right? Maybe not as narrow as a diamond. But we can just go ahead and do those uh, narrow push ups. Okay? So that's gonna be for that piece. Now, if we need an alternative movement for that, what I'm gonna encourage is that we do bent over rows, okay? Bent over rows, okay? And it looks like there's a Smith machine over there. So you could probably set it up to even do like a lat pull down. Oh shoot, that would be awesome. Cool, all right. And the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna do the cross body mountain climber. Now a normal mountain climber is just simply my left knee is gonna to go to my left forearm. This one's gonna pull me across. Okay, so we're just go cross side to side, cross on the body, keeping that midsection tight so we're hitting those obliques, the side muscles. Now the squat rotation, let's all start on your knees. We're gonna pick up one foot here. I'm then gonna pick up my other foot. I'm in a squat and then I'm gonna go right back down. So there's no standing up or whatnot. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate those legs. Which one starts up first? and then we'll go right back down to your knees, okay? And again, so as you come up on, or on, your, on your knees, you're gonna be upright. We're not gonna be hinged or anything. You're gonna be upright, abs are tight, shoulders are still gonna be back, okay? So let's do this real quick, you guys. Let's go through two of those narrow push-ups slash diamond push-ups or lat pull-downs. Ooh, yep. And then I'm gonna have you guys go right into that cross body mountain climber. Let's go ahead and get four of those, just two per side. Can you do the push up one more time, please? Yeah, yeah. So just think of it like this, Karen. It's gonna be a narrow grip or narrow position, right? So it's kind of be your hands gonna be like this on the floor. 
and your chest is going to come down, or you can just have a little bit of a narrower push up grip on the floor. So on your toes or on your knees. All right. And then let's go with those squat rotations. Just get two of those real quick, just so you feel good about it. And if you're already good about it, we can get right into it. Perfect. I like that alternative, Leslie. All right. Well, let's get this party started, you guys. Again, we're gonna be doing a nine minute workout, also called a nine minute EMOM, every minute on the minute for nine minutes. And so we're gonna stay at one movement per minute, okay? So 10 diamond push-ups, everybody. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin. So we're only doing 10. Now, once we're done with the 10, we're just gonna relax. Nice, love it. All right, once you're done with those 10, we have 20 seconds, everybody. So it's just tall. Now it's time to rest. All right, in 15 seconds, we're going to do the cross body mountain climbers. We're going to do 20 of those. Okay, here we go in three, two, one, and begin. Now, the Iman, here's a little background on the Iman. The Iman was kind of more publicized by a guy named Rich Froning, which was uh, an athlete in the CrossFit world. And he started to, you know, treat strengths, you know, with these EMOM effect, opposed to setting a clock for nine minutes and just doing a bunch of work. He set it where there would be rest and there would be time to push. And so it just kind of started to kind of flow into uh, more training and more programming because we were able to see the effectiveness of it. So. Again, here we are running with an EMOM right now. All right, everybody, 20 seconds. And then we're gonna move right into those 10 rotations. And again, it's five per side, making sure that you're leading opposite sides, right? The first time you're gonna lead with the left leg, next time you're gonna lead with the right leg. All right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, and here we go. Okay, there we go. Now we do kind of want to keep a deeper squat if possible, but again, shoot for your depth. When you normally do your squats, what is your depth like? That's ultimately where we want to be at. All right, and then once you guys are done with your 10, go ahead and relax. All right. So that's gonna be the first set, right? We're gonna do two more total sets together. All right, here we go. Diving push-ups in three, two, one, and here we go. <clears throat> All right. Good work, John. Good pull. Yep. There we go. Good. Once you guys are done with your 10, go ahead and stop. And then I'll go ahead and stay on the floor because we're going to go right back to those cross body mountain climbers. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get set in three, two, one, and begin. Good work.
Good work, you guys. Getting those 20 out of the way. Once we're done with those 20, we'll then go into those squat rotations, but not until about 15 seconds because the next minute has not started yet. All right, we do have about five seconds now, everyone. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, squat rotations. We're gonna start on your knees. There we go. Remember, we're not standing up. We're just coming up to that squat and then dropping right back down. There we go. Nice job. Once we're done with five per side, go ahead and take a breather. And then once we're done, we're gonna go ahead and start the last set. Okay, 15 seconds till we start that last set, everyone. All right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, last set of diamond push-ups. And as a reminder, if we can't do the diamond piece, let's go a little bit wider. So we'll just make it a little bit more narrower than we would a normal push-up. And again, these can be performed on your toes or on your knees. And then once you guys are done with that, rest. But make sure to stay on the floor because our crossbody mountain climbers are gonna be next. Good work, you guys. Okay, 10 seconds. Crossbody mountain climbers in five, four, three, and here we go. All right, let's do it. There we go. I like it, you guys. Another alternative for this one, and John's doing it right now, it could be bicycle crunches, okay? Good alternative given by Leslie. All right, we got about 30 seconds and we're gonna do this one more time with the squat rotation. Okay, 10 seconds. And three. Two, one, begin. All right, good, nice and smooth, you guys. All right, for that split second, you're gonna be loading that left side as you drag up to the right foot and then vice versa. When you step up with the right foot, you get to load that side more as you bring up to that left foot. Just going side to side, take your time. Want to be in control. Front foot's going to be flat as can be. And then once you guys are done with your 10, go ahead and grab some water. There we go. Good work. All right, so in between, let's go ahead and jump into our icebreaker, everybody. So in the chat, let's go ahead and put our answer. What is something that you have not accomplished that you would like to accomplish? And then if you miss the Monday icebreaker, you know, where would you like to go and you haven't gone there? Where would you like to go? All right, now, as you guys do that, I'm gonna verbally walk us through the next piece. And then I'll go ahead and physically walk us through it. So we have two minutes of cardio on the front of the workout and at the end of the workout. Okay, so we're gonna start the workout with a two minute cardio 
and then we'll close it down with a two minute piece of cardio, okay? Now, in between, we're gonna work for 15 minutes. We have a 15 minute AMRAP. We're going to do 10 plank rotations, 20 tuck ups, and then 30 box step ups, okay? Or just a, we can use a step to step up, a chair to step up, whatever you want, we're going to step up onto something, okay? Now, it's 30, right? So I'm not even worried of how high or how low it is. I just want you guys stepping. Just keep, keep on stepping, 15 per side. So as you guys are still finishing up, writing stuff down, the plank rotation, okay, is going to be on your elbows. We'll be in the elbows first. And then from here, we're gonna rotate where I'm gonna load my left side and then I'm gonna plant with my right hand and then I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna be up in the upright or uh, high plank, okay? Then I'm gonna drop down to my elbow, elbow, and then we're gonna go side to side. Now, just make sure that you're alternating the side that you're actually pushing up with, right? Sometimes we tend to go to our dominant side, so I'm left-handed and I tend to go and just push up with my left side over and over again. And that does nothing for my right side, okay? So plank rotation, let's go ahead and move. I'm gonna move with you guys when it comes to the plank rotation. Um, and I'm always thinking like when it comes to the plank rotation for you, John, I'm thinking like a dead bug. We are gonna be doing dead bugs later on at the end of it, but something that's going to be correlated, it actually could be, you can even do leg extensions, okay? So real quick, you guys, just in case you missed that, we're gonna start on your elbow and then we're gonna push up side to side, okay? So again, on your elbow, push up side to side. Let's get about two to four of those. Does that make sense, Eva? Yeah, I'm wondering what the tuck up was. No, the tuck up. All this time I was thinking you wanted to see the plank again. <laughs> All right, wow. tuck up, tuck up, you guys. So we're gonna lay flat on the back, on your backs, right? And we're gonna come all the way up into that tuck position. Preferably don't touch your heels, but if you need to, that's okay. And then you just lengthen those legs out and then you come right back up again, okay? So let's go ahead and do about two to four of those. Just make sure you guys are moving in the right direction and in the right way. There we go. Perfect. And then once we're done, right, again, grab anything that you literally can step up onto and then you can step back down to, okay? Now I see um, that John and Leslie, they're actually at a gym, find a bench right? Um, Dan, I see that chair in the corner that you normally step on. Tina's got her steps in the back. Ooh, Karen's got a whole setup. Yeah, but anything that we're stepping up onto, that's going to be what I'm going to be looking for for you guys. Um, let's go real quick. Does that make sense, you guys? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense and we feel okay. Okay. Now, when it comes to in the upright plank position, John, does that mess with your shoulders? Like in that position, is that okay if we do like a shoulder tap or does that mess, take it out, call it good? No. Okay, perfect. Try to save extensions. Yeah, that's totally cool. Yeah, he's just gonna do that on there. Gonna... Yep, perfect, perfect. Perfect, you guys. All right, well, give me a thumbs up if you guys are good on your side. Good. We good in Pismo? We're doing two minutes of cardio first, right? We are, we are. We're gonna start with cardio first and then immediately go right into 15 minutes. And then I'll just, yeah, I'll tell you guys when we're gonna rotate and whatnot too. All right. Well, let's get this party started, you guys. Well, here we go on a Wednesday. Let's kick it off in three, two, one, and let's begin. Two minutes, everybody. I like it, Adair. Every time that you go outside, a new window pops up, and I'm thinking maybe somebody's logging in a little bit later. And I'm thinking, nope, 
the dare. She's going outside to do that jump rope. All right. Okay. So I got two, got two answers today. So, okay, three answers. Tina says Italy. Okay, so that's where she wants to go. She wants to go to Italy. And something that she has not accomplished yet is sticking with running. She, she wants to stick with running. Awesome. And then Leslie says that she wants to go to Greece. And then John wants to go to Eastern I, Easter Island. Ooh, I'm about to look that up, John. I don't even know what that is. All right, we have a little bit over of one more minute left of our cardio. Okay, 45 seconds. Good work, you guys. Keep pushing. Remember, we're getting ourselves set up for our 15-minute piece. Ooh. Dan wants to catch a great white on a fly. Ooh. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, 20 seconds. Remember, we're just revving up that body, you guys. All right. In 10 seconds, we are going to go right into that plank rotation in three, two, one, and begin. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead, start ourselves off in a plank on your toes or on your, el on your elbows or on your, on your palms. And then let's go ahead and start rotating down or up. And remember, let's make sure to give each side love. You start with your left side. Next time, start with your right side. And just go side to side. Good. Now, once we're done with our 10 plank rotations, roll it over on your back. And we're going to go right into your 20 tuck-ups. Okay. Okay. Now, an alternative for this tuck up could be sit ups. Okay, could be sit ups just to kind of make it easy. There we go. Good work, you guys. Remember to breathe as you guys come up. That's gonna be your exhale as you come up. Take a deep breath, go down and exhale as you come up. And then once we're done with that, go right into those step ups. Getting 30, 15 each side. Again, we're alternating. Good work, good work. <clears throat> and there we go. Good, find that rhythm to stay in it. Going up and then going down. Going up and going down. Good work, you guys. Now remember, once we're done with our step ups, we're gonna go right back to the plank rotation. Okay, so this is, those are the three movements that we're staying in. We're staying with the 10 plank rotations, the 20 tuck-ups, and then the 30 box step-ups.
All right, here we go. All right, once we're done those plank rotations, get right into those tuck ups. There we go. Getting 20, again, doesn't mean you have to do them all in a row. <clears throat> Good work, good work. Make sure you guys have your water bottle close to you so you guys can grab some water real quick. And then get right into those step ups or do all your step ups, then get into get your water. Good job, you guys. We're keeping track of how many rounds are we gonna get? Nice job, you guys. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. There we go, come on. Making sure we're keeping track of every single round, every single rep. And when we start to get tired, just go ahead, tell yourself one more rep, one more, one more movement. And then reestablish kind of like that goal once you guys get there. <clears throat> Okay, so we have seven minutes remaining in this area. And then we'll finish it off by doing two minutes of cardio.
There we go. Good job, you guys. Come on. Put a goal in your head and say how many rounds do you want to get? How many times do you want to get through before that clock expires until we start right back into that cardio? Come on, keep pushing guys, come on now. All right, a little bit over four minutes. All right, guys, grab some water if you guys need it. Let me get right back into it. Good job, you guys. Making sure we're standing all the way up with those step ups, right? Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs at the top. All right. Here we go, a little over two minutes, you guys. Okay, two minutes. All right, you guys, we have one more minute here. So come on, dig deep, give a little bit more of a push, and then we're gonna move right into your cardio.
All right, 30 seconds. Keep driving, keep driving, you guys. We have 10 more seconds and then we're gonna move right into our cardio. Here we go. And three, two, one. And let's go, you guys. All right, so we have two more minutes of cardio. So I know some of you guys are rowing, some of you guys are jump roping, some of you are running on the elliptical machine. Now give a push, you guys, right? Give a little bit of a push, two minutes of a push, and then you guys get to be done, okay? Done with this piece. <clears throat> All right, 30 seconds already in. Okay, here we go, one more minute. Here we go, 30 seconds, you guys. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, and stop. Good job, you guys. All right, let's walk around, you guys. Walk around, grab some water. Good job, come on. All right, now we do have a little bit of a finisher. Okay, so we're gonna do some dead bugs and some supermen. Um, I'm gonna introduce a different movement for you guys when it comes to the supermen. So if you feel okay with the superman movement, I'm gonna move something, and this is just good for, for shoulders. And we're gonna do kind of, let's call it like an arm hauler. So let's go over our dead bug real quick. Make sure we're all on the same page. And remember, it's a slow, it's a slow movement, okay? Sometimes we get a lot of, we get moving kind of quick. And so let's talk about the setup really quick. So knees are gonna be up, lower back's pressed against the floor. And I have a little bit of a crunch. Now notice that my head's not on the floor. It's a little bit of a crunch. It's not super high of a crunch. It's just a little bit of a crunch. And this is how it's always going to start, okay? My right arm's gonna go back as my left arm goes, my left leg goes straight. Now I have to reset before I can move the other limbs, okay? Now I know we've done this a lot, but just remember it's slow and you're concentrating on each limb moving, okay? Now the next one's gonna be the Superman. We're gonna be in the extended position. I'm gonna go ahead and come on up and then I'm gonna come right back down. Now, if you feel okay with this position, you feel okay holding it, all I want you to do is I'm gonna have you kind of pull your arms to your side and then pull your arms right back to the starting position. Now, what tends to happen is the palms are facing down. As I start to pull my hands to my side, my palms will then start to face up towards the ceiling. Okay, so that's just a kind of like a little bit of a bonus move. If you feel okay with the shoulders, just kind of doing the Superman, keep that. Let's just do that. If you want to try that little arm hauler movement, it doesn't disappoint, I will be honest with you. Okay, so I don't know, John, how that feels like with the rotation of the shoulder. I don't know if that would feel okay or not. 
yeah, no, yeah, cool. That's cool. Um, but maybe, just maybe, do they have a GH there, GHD there, or a back extension? No, that's okay. If you want to grab like one dumbbell, John, right, and we just do, we'll hold it in between your palms. Just go ahead and do straight legged uh, deadlifts, right? Straight legged deadlift. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, exactly. We'll just be mimicking the same exact movement. Perfect. All right, you guys, well, let's go ahead and get itself in the right position. So if we're gonna start right, we're gonna be on the floor on your back. So we're just gonna start with dead bugs. And then after we're done with those dead bugs, we'll then do the Superman, okay? All right, well, here we go, you guys, in three, two, one, begin. Okay. So here we go again, it's slow movement, nice and slow, right? Remember that the arms and the knees have to be parallel with each other before the next side takes its turn. In three, two, one, and rotate. All right, so now we're gonna go on your stomach, Superman, in three, two, one, here we go. Good, you guys, we're just going straight up and then back down. And then up and then back down. Nice and smooth, five more seconds. In three, two, one, and rotate. All right, go ahead and roll right back on your back. In three, two, one, and go. Good, nice and smooth, you guys. Don't, don't get rushed. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, you guys, we're right back into those Superman in three, two, one, and go. Good, and three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. So remember guys, with this movement, it's nice and slow. So making sure that lower back takes, makes contact with that floor. Good. Take a deep breath, brace that midsection as you lower the arm and extend those legs. And then once you guys have full, that full extension, bring it right back up to then alternate to the opposite side. Three, two, and rotate. All right, guys, let's get right back onto your stomachs. Three, two, and begin. Good, nice and smooth. Good. Now you're staying extended, right? If you're, if you're gonna do the arm hauler option, keep that chest up and legs up the whole time. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we are, right back on your back into those slow dead bugs. Three, two, and begin. All right, two more rotations and then we are done for the day. Three, two, and rotate. All right, here we go. Three, two, and go. Good. Yep, keep those arms up or keep that chest up. Keep those legs up with those arm haulers. We'll go to your side and then right back in front and then go ahead and relax if you want. Three, two, and rotate. 
All right, you guys, we want to have one more rotation of each. So let's get on the back. Let's do those dead bucks in two, one, and begin. There we go. In three, two, one, rotate, get on your stomach. Last one. Three, two, one, begin. All right, you guys, we're almost done. 10 more seconds. In three, two, one, and stop. Good job, you guys. Give yourself that high five. High five for showing up. High five for uh, making it today. Same thing, I guess, showing up, getting it done. Good work. Looking strong in there. All right, you guys, well, let's get on in. Let's do our photo for the day. And then we will go live our lives <laughs> on a Wednesday. All right, you guys, here we go. Get those guns, guns a blazing. Three, two, one. And we're done. Good job today, you guys. All right, Charlie is going to be here tomorrow with you. So same time, say, oh. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. Have a great day, everyone. Yeah, you too. Enjoy, you guys. Enjoy, you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Good day, everybody. Stay cool. I can't turn.